Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to our Bonacle review, and today's of which is on of Fantoka Toa Liwa and Makuta Antros from 2008. So her is Antros's manual, which is the only entry I'll do in this review. You see a picture of him there in the center, and the Bonacle logo, Fantoka logo. And then this is the name, and then set number 8691, Joking Hazard, Lego Logo, Bonacle.com. On the back, add for Toa Ignica, which of which next, next, next throwback Thursday. And then add on how to win on the online survey, add for Lego Club. Then add of all the Toa Mari. And then uh, for all the Fantoka sets, but with Makuta, Chirox, and Kirok in the center, rather than like the Liwa and Tantma in the center. So, how to attach Radiac to Antros, which I'll also do in this video, and then all the pieces that come with the set. And let's see. Also, in the center is how you can like, like launch the Triax pod. But also in the picture is done if you can kind of notice is that the hand pieces are the older style kind of ones, but on the actual set they're the more newer reinforced kind of style. And so we'll start off with Liwa, of course. So Liwa, oh which the build kind of standard of a Toa and Nika set, but kind of skimpy and lanky. But also one good thing about him is that how he and Tanma, which brought back the light green, whereas since the uh, Metro Nui through Mari Nui sets were mostly dark green, so at least light green did kind of brighten it up a little. Well, until the uh, Glatorian line the following year, of course. Well, Glatorian and Stars lines, kind of did. But still no sign of his regular green color, well, until in Generation 2 in 2015, of course. Anyways, what? For the feet, which are mostly Baraki Mantax's feet, but in gray. Which you can kind of use for mocks and all. And then our rock Sheila. Also, those newer reinforced kind of pieces, of course. And then some more of that. And the chest, and like a chest plate piece, but in green. But also, a little neat thing is with he and Pohatu, and also Antros here, is that they were also used as pilots on the vehicle sets in the Mystica line, also in 2008. But of course, the masks were different and didn't have all these other feature things to them. Not sure why the mask changed, but whatever. And the arms and legs, and the arms of which kind of similar build, but with Anika limbs for that. Although it would have been nice if the lower arm and lower legs were swapped around, but I'm sure you can do that if you wanted to. And the shoulder pads are mostly Matoro Mari's uh, dagger blades, but with Apator and jetpacks added to them. Because if for articulation, it kind of limits his uh, shoulder movement. But it still has all the regular range of movement. So, as he has a newer sword, although kind of resembling that of Liwa Nuva's uh, katanas, which Tanma has. And of course, this also used on uh, Takanuva later in the year. Like with some electricity going through it, you know. And as for his Medak Sky Blaster, which the instructions of it say hold it like this, but I'm not sure why that is. Although you can obviously make him hold it like that if you want to. And how you choose is fly pull on this and then fires like so. And 
And then as for the masterpiece, which, which does have some more odd detailing to it, and of course a couple of turbines in the cheeks, and then just like in the Toamari range, they oh, it has this clear blue visor piece that slips right into it. Same with Pohatus, and at least until in the there are uh, Mystica versions that came in the vehicle sets, uh, which had the fins coming out of it. So, as for him wearing it, it does look a lot better than how it does on the pictures, of course. But also, if you turn it upside down, also does kind of work as a mask, sort of. And as one says, kind of like the Bumblebee Transformer kind of did. And for his back of which, a little bit of coverage is with this Anika shoulder blade piece, but with a little connector to it to attach Tanma to him. And now it's like Tanma here. There's Afatorn Tanma. You can attach it on just like so. Which you, and of course, this did carry on into Generation 2 uh, sets. It's, but with the Uniter Toa and the element creatures, of course. Also in the, uh, what was it? Uh, Quest of One. Yeah, Quest of One, the Netflix series, of course. And I guess that is about it with Liwa. And now on to Antroz. So, he, oh, which still quite cool to this day. And so the legs of which standard of Paraka builds like with Paraka Hakan's uh, feet and also the newer reinforced kind of pieces. But as you saw on the picture, the older style. Maybe it was before they changed it up to that. And of course, Paraka lens in black from Redak. Well, as both arms and legs, of course. And also, not at all any coverage on his lower body, which uh, Vampra and Chirox had. Although you can kind of do that if you want, or add something there if you wanted. And, and of course, the upper body is, the, of course, the body piece used for most of the Mukuda in this wave, where you push this little thing on the back and then Oh, whoops. It's so hard to get sold. Okay. This is where you can explode that. And there's the shadow leeches. With a uh, me up there. So, as you can see, there's two little eyes and some little teeth to it. And Four large fins and two small fins, of course. We'll continue with ant rods here. And as for the arms of which, same build, and also do you have these cool late pieces. Also used on uh, Paraka Stars set, and also uh, Verno Bike and Hero Factory and a couple other sets. And so, which kind of cool builds to them. And as for on the backs of the arms, there are a pair of Hordika neck pieces or head pieces and attached to connectors and attaching to these big wing pieces which I think probably one of the most largest bonicle pieces there are. They're mixed of dark red and black, of course. You can also use them as like detailing on things if you want. And that's for the mask of which kind of of which quite cool. Also mixed of red and black. Again of course some teeth in the center and these fins all around. So, 
but also probably one of the most largest masks that we've ever seen. Here, fit that on. And of course, whereas he, which does have quite, quite a bit of bulk to him. And of course, at least until the Mystica version that came with the Jet Racks T6 set, which quite wimpy, of course. And that uh, right now, uh, to get Radiac here and attach it to him, just have to lead him over for that. I get Radiac out, and then suddenly have these two uh, pinholes there. And attach them onto him, of course. And of course, since the Makuta are blind flyers, then the Shaomatorin are acting as their eyes, of course. Which, as compared to the uh, Toa Matorin combinations, serve as extra boost, which is extra boosting, which is why they're lying flat, but serve as extra vision, which is why they're upwards like that. But also, if you had all four of these sets, can make the recommended combination model, Spyra, of course. And I guess that's about it for the dual sets. And so, on to the final verdict. So, for my overall verdict, these, I think, are uh, quite cool sets from the time, from 2008, of course. Like, we were, like all the Toa at the time, lacking a lot of gray or silver in the Mystica line, of course. Although barely much resembling Liwa, but at least he still has a flying ability to him. But Antros, of which nice color scheme of black and dark red, which kind of used with Scrawl and Stronius the following year, of course. But also the cool, and of course the cool blades and also wings, of course. So a couple of good mocking pieces to them. Also, even despite the lower body kind of lacking in armor, of course. Although I do think the arms could have been better put in the other way for extra movement. But of course you can do that if you want to. And, it's, and overall, if you still had these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, then I'd say go ahead and get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.